What's up, y'all? Hey, guys. We're Embrace the Suck 21. Yes, we are. I'm Spencer. And I'm Daniel. And Happy New Year to hey, all of you. Yes. Hope y'all had a great holiday Hope season. So. And thank y'all for everybody who blew up that first uh, Fred Dipna video that we did. The one uh, where he's taking down the chimney brick by brick. That... I, we thought that was just going to flop. Yeah. And uh, not really do much, but... Y'all came out the woodworks for that one. And I thoroughly enjoyed that. Yeah. I thoroughly enjoyed this this introduction to this legend that is Fred Dibna. Yeah. I think a common comment was the Brits trout treasure people like this, you know, blue collar. Man of the people. Man of the people that are not afraid of a hard day's work. Yeah. And this guy just, uh, maybe he just, he just had no fear. Because yeah. holy shit. Yeah. That was intense. This, so this, this, oh my God. Like, he's laddering the chimney. I am going to cringe so much at this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> so we got both parts queued up here. But one here, and then we're going to let it play on into two. Yep. Three, two, one. Hmm. Well, basically, this is sort of a packing that keeps the ladder off the wall of the chimney so there's room for your boots to go through, you know, on the rungs of the ladder. There's two schools of thought in this. One that, the, you know, tying them on with string is time consuming and all that, which it is. But the thing is, when it's, when it's being pulled up the side of the chimney, um, you know, by my mate here, it, it, and it bangs against something, it only busts the string, you know. Like the other school of thought is have a metal construction that's bolted, bolted to the ladder, which when that hits an iron band or something like that, it busts the bloody ladder, you see. String is cheaper than brand new ladders. So, but it does take a bit of time for tie them all on. Yeah, that's the only problem. Oh my God. Right. Bro, okay. that's a... I, okay, I know it's gonna sound stupid. All right. That's a wooden ladder, like, I would need that shit to be metal. Yeah. I mean, granted, it'd be heavy as fuck. Well, I mean, this is heavy as fuck. Fuck it. Yeah. Yeah. This is—it's a wood ladder. Yeah. You—you <laughs> you don't trust wood. No. I—I I mean, I, I just—that's crazy. Depends on what it's—which one it is. Like, I know some are harder than others. Some are more durable. But I—I my... I know nothing about it. God. I'm just making a guess. That's crazy. Yeah. But I'll—I'll. I'll... Take your judgment on that one oh to heart. Oh, my God. All right. It's going to be just underneath the third rung, so there's room for your boots. <laughs> They've just got to be just underneath the third rung, so there's room for your boots there. If you tie it on there, it's amazing how it gets in way. Um, you know, it's in the wrong shop, because there's no room for your, for your feet. Yeah, basically that piece of wood is, is just to put there to hold the ladder off the wall. Here we are drilling the first hole in, in you know, which is, is the, there is an hole actually there that's just been pointed up. So knocking the first dog, which will be the, the hole fast at the, at the base of the first ladder, as you might say. Then goes the plug wood which, as you can see, it doesn't go in very far, you know, but it's quite far enough, you know, it's quite safe. Um, and that's what's termed as a dog. Uh, and I'm going to knock in, in now, uh, knock in, in now. And the next stage is to the piece of rope, it's called a lashing, and it's a piece of rope about five foot long with a loop spliced on one end, as you can see. Um, the next stage is to prop up a ladder and climb up it as though you were going up to clean the bedroom window. And then about five feet from the top of that ladder, you drill another hole, but in our case, the hole's already there. You drill another hole as plumb and straight above the one below as you can get it. Um, and insert another piece of plug wood and another dog. <laughs> so, this man says he drills another hole, and I'm expecting a drill. There is no drill. You hammer out a hole? That's... 
That's a... Oh, my God. It's so much. So, like, it's, it's so hard. Like, I've done this trick before when installing doors, um, at least in the basement, that you have to, in my case, drill a hole into the the, the block, insert a, insert a wood shim, yeah, and then put your screws in because then the screw expands the wood yeah. into the block. I, I, I know this, this tactic, but... It's a ladder that holds your fucking life. Yeah. Like, that's a oh lot of faith. Oh, my God. That's a lot of faith. A lot that's... of faith in a ladder. Oh, Ugh. my God. I, man. As you get a bit higher up, the holes have a tendency to get a bit deeper. I think it's called fear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No shit. Yep. Oh shit. Here you see the first ladder is is in position and I'm about to tie it onto the bottom dog or the bottom all fast. Um, which uh, you know that's where the beer belly comes in handy. <laughs> um, so sort of round the hook, round the side of the cheek of the ladder, under the rung, round the hook, round the other cheek of the ladder, round the rung, and then back round the the, the rung below and a twelve inch on and that's got it fast it will not come off and the thing to do also is use as much of the rope up as you can because in a gale the ends start to blow about and, and the whipping comes off the end of the rope and then you've got one with like a cat of nine tails end on it you know <laughs> <down there. laughs> I, I guess I guess I mean yeah okay this is a guy this guy is a master of his craft Mm -hmm. He knows his stuff, which, you know, but that's, it's very crazy that you secure it to ish the bottom of a very tall ladder and the top is just waving. Oh, that, this is fear inducing in and of itself. Yeah, uh, that, I, I would hope it's not a windy day. And, oh God. I'm, I'm surprised it's just one anchor point, not two. Well, that's the first uh, one. Maybe maybe there's two coming. Uh, be, I don't know cuz you're putting a lot of faith in one one <sighs> one anchor point. Yeah. I would I would be more safe. I would feel first of all, this is not my cup of tea at all ever ever ever. But if I were to do this, I would need like five. <laughs> I would need like five anchor points. Oh. Like, may, may, it, 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 it's just built differently and he it's is, like man. a different time. God and, damn it. And you know it, what you don't see is his wheelbarrow to carry his balls of steel. Yes, his big this is brass true. balls. This is true. We we saw that in yeah. the comments. Yep. <laughs> like, how does he get up there with massive balls? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. That is the pulley wheel to pull up the next ladder. Here, yeah, the next operation is to tie the the ladder to the top dog or the top hole fast that you've just knocked in. Ugh. Without tying it to the haulage rope, you know, because you sometimes if you're not paying attention or you're trying to talk to somebody who's mithering you on the floor, they you end up lapping it round. You see how easy it would be to lap it round the haulage rope. Yeah, that's it. That is now the bottom ladder is now firmly fixed and as good as it'll ever be to the wall of the chimney. And the next operation is to climb up to the top of that ladder and sit to stride the top iron rung oh. and reach up as far as you can and drill another hole in the brickwork, which, of course, it's very easy for me here because having done this thing about seven times before and used exactly the same holes every time, I know exactly how far I'm reaching and where I'm going, and it's quite an easy operation to keep the wall stack of ladders in a in a in a very straight line. 
I didn't even uh, think about that. I didn't even think about that. That shit has to be yeah. precise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's very there's no room for error. I was about to say little room. No room for yeah. error there. That, oh my God. Because like, if it's not straight, that fucks you up on the way down. Yeah. Like, yeah. you're putting your feet. Uh, I, yeah. This is crazy, dude. Fred is the type of dude that, you know, even if there's like a generation difference, if you don't want to agree with him on something, you keep friends with him. You you make friends with this man, he will get you out of situations. This, this is just wild. He, he's... He's like, you know, a jack of many trades. He knows a Mr. Fix-It type of person. Yeah. Those type of people, you do anything it's, that it takes to keep this man in your life. Wow. This this dude, man. Yeah. I mean, and what's, what's crazy to me is that, like, that wedge that he's put. I, I keep coming back to, you know, okay, he's, he's laddering the thing, right? He's putting ladders up. But the thing that is anchoring is just pure pressure. Yeah. That, just two pieces of wood. And like a wedge, like now the wedge isn't like have barbs or anything to help it grip. It's just pure wedge. Yeah, I, I just that's I, it's it's just crazy. To me. <laughs> I know. If you're putting them up and you wander towards one side. When you're putting the staging up at the top and you've got one ladder that's maybe two foot gone a bit sideways and say the other one's gone the other way, it looks rather an erratic effort at the top. You know, everything's out of line and out of square. Now we've drilled the, the hole approximately five feet above the top of the bottom ladder and hooked on the pulley wheel. Now this is where the tricky bit comes in. The second ladder is tied on approximately nine rungs from the top which is about midway. And of course, when it when it's being pulled up by the labourer or the man down below, we, we lose more or less half a ladder uh, of a lap, which you'll see the reason for this shortly. The thing is, as that ladder comes up, or the second ladder comes up, on the bottom rung of it, there are two lashings, one of which I'm using now to tie the bottom rung to the nearest corresponding rung of the ladder that's stuck to the wall. I've got the other lashing round my neck and the two steeplejack hooks which have come up with it are stuck in my belt. Um, now, that's a secondary sort of safety precaution, the one with just a clovitch round the side. Just in case the, 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 that hook there that I've got my hand on or the one that the pulley's on, if that happened to come out, I'd still be in with a chance, you know, the... the the ladder would still be connected with two hooks to the bottom one. As you can see, it's slightly precarious there, how it shakes about, but once you've lashed it to that top hook, which is five foot above the bottom ladder, you've only got about six rungs above that are standing in free space or what you might call unconnected to the chimney. Mm. It is now possible to unhook the pulley wheel and carry it up the back side of the ladder and hook it on the top iron rung while you use one of the dogs that's stuck in your belt uh, to, you know, get another purchase five foot higher up still, you see. And once you've drilled that hole and put the dog in, you can lift up the pulley wheel onto the dog, which, of course, one end of the rope is still attached to the ladder that you, you were sat on. And then you'll see in a minute where the, when I come down and untie that ladder, and my man at the bottom pulls and up goes the wall 21 pins of the ladder onto the top of the bottom ladder, which sounds unbelievably complicated, but it is quite a simple operation, really. I like how this man is like, it's quite a simple operation. Get out of <laughs> Get here. Get the fuck out of here. I'm not doing that. And I saw a few comments saying that sometimes he would do this shit drunk. I, I no, nah, not I, for me. Not for me. I know that I wouldn't be sober. I wouldn't be drunk, but I would I would feel I would have to be right on that level of fuck it all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like at least a shot of tequila, right? Like, yeah. I would I would be I'd be good if it worked, and I'd be good and okay and understanding if it all just went to shit. I'd be I have to be right on that level. <laughs> I'm just like if Yo, it works great, if not, hey, we had a good run. <laughs> 
you know, like, I'd have to be on that level. Yeah. I, I admire your enthusiasm about that. I admire God. your mindset. It, it just, it, it's so mind-blowing. I mean, granted, people, the people that, that built this thing, uh, I mean, I don't know how you would build this. I mean, the amount of scaffolding around that thing would have to be legendary. Yeah. But that's that's another that's another video. Yeah. <laughs> Let us know where we can find that one. <laughs> yeah. In fact, it's so simple. You can do on a good chimney on a good day where it isn't windy and you don't manage to thump the hell out your hand with the hammer. Like, you know, I mean, if you miss with the hammer, it's rather painful. Um, yeah. There goes the pulley wheel. Down the ladder. Um... Untie the lashing at the top that's holding the top of the ladder. What? Now it all comes loose and flops about oh. in the wind. Oh. That's the dodgy bit when it's very windy and you're three quarters of the way up Why? and the wind's trying to oh. snap the ladder off sideways. Uh-uh. Uh, it's quite exciting. Um, and there's the secondary lashing on the side and then finally the one at the bottom. Uh... When you've released it at the bottom, it's at the mercy of the man on the floor and the wind. Sometimes it's rather awkward when it's very windy and and the and the ladders start twisting round the rope, you know, that's pulling the thing up. Mm, all right, part two. You know, it's now in the right position for fixing onto the onto the sockets at the bottom, and of course you see how close to the the, the top of the, the you know it's being held against the wall by the man on the floor very important that the man on the floor is uh, you've got his wall concentration all the time you know that's why it's better using an older man than a younger man who has a tendency to wander off looking at ladies skirts and things like that <laughs> wow. yeah and then tw- and then this these times they'd probably be on their phone yeah I mean like I- most uh, uh, most people are. I mean, that's probably not it. For anybody, it's basically 35 or younger. Yeah. Like, this This is just so terrifying. Yeah. It, it's, it's, it's awesome in the full respect of that word. It's awe-inducing. Mm-hmm. Like, the fact that this ladder isn't fixed at all times to the wall or an anchor, and at one point it is free, is mind-blowing. Mm-hmm. Not for me, dog. Not for me. Disappears, you fall off. Yeah. That's the setting ladder up, and <laughs> that's what it's all about. <laughs> See, like, well, that part still. freaks me out. It's just loose at the top. Yeah, yeah. Could fall down at any time. And your toast after that. This method of laddering factory chimneys is quite a recent sort of invention, you know, like 1870s period. A bit before then, they actually flew kites uh, to get string across the tops of chimneys. You know, right, weird situation. I think when they were, you know, the beginning of the Industrial Revolution, when they started to erect chimney stacks, nobody... Gave it a great deal of thoughts as to how they were going to get up there to repair the things. Because, of course, they were all built from the inside, more or less right from the beginning of building fairly large ones to to them building the really monstrous things that there are today at power stations. Like the, the early ones, you know, 1820s, were only like 60 and 50 feet high. And, of course, you know, they could build them with a conventional scaffold around the outside because they were a no great girth, you know, to circumnavigate the wall of that chimney, which might be 60-odd feet circumference with scaffolding, is going to cost a heck of a lot of money, you know. That's why I think steeplejacks have still got a... can earn, still earn a crust of bread, you know. Um, it is one of the good and reliable ways of getting up there, you know. Well, that's that's an interesting point, and like very another layer of Fred Dibna that we're discovering is that 
how knowledgeable he is of this industry. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And and I, I guess that's why he he had a a, a series uh, uh, on this type of thing, and because he's very knowledgeable about it and is good at communicating how the the nuances of this. Yeah. The wise. The the wise and hows. Yeah, it can answer questions and talk intelligently about it. So I, I just I just I, like it it still baffles my mind. Yeah, it still baffles my mind. This screen alone. Is giving me the ABG. Like, holy shit. Yee! Basically, having got the second ladder up, you've, you've more or less conquered it in a way, the, how you actually do the job. The thing is, you just keep repeating the process. Nine rungs from the top, two lashings on the bottom and two dogs, and up it comes. And all as you're up there with is your hammer, your chisel, the plug wood, and the end of the, or the pulley wheel and the, and the rope. The important thing not to do is let, let the rope run through the block and go tumbling down, which means that you've got to come down and get the end of the rope and carry the thing up, which, 200 foot of M rope is fairly heavy, and by the time you've got back to the top with it, you're getting a bit out of breath. The, the a other bit thing out is of breath. The higher up you get. <laughs> <laughs> That's one way to put it. Or you just get a bit out of breath. Get putting out it of lightly. Here. I yeah. would be wheezing. <laughs> like, just putting up the first one. Because mm. you're hammering something. Like, my mind plays that trick on me. If I'm, I'm, if I'm high up on an extension ladder, uh, like let's say, for instance, putting a window in. Yeah, I'm very conscious of what's going on with the ladder and how I'm feeling. Oh, you have like, to be. Like sometimes, my legs will just shake. Like if I'm up too high, exerting enough force, I'm like, I don't, I don't have a lot of trust in the stability of this ladder. And and you know to back out. And I'm like, okay, let's just go slower. We'll reattack it. Yeah. But Dude. this is crazy. Yeah, I can't. Oh my god! Like I bet. He could take out Chuck Norris. Oh, 100%. This is before. This is this is uh, him and Chuck Norris never existed on on the same earth at the same time. Yeah. I know, I know that's crazy, but I'm just saying that's I yeah. would believe that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. It, it, it the Chuck Norris meme should not have been Chuck Norris. No. It should have been Fred Dibna. Yeah. Fred Dibna can slam revolving doors. Yes. I 100% agree. Mhm. Mm yeah, and the harder it gets, you know, because of course the, the guy at the bottom has got to pull the ladder up further and you've got to send the end of the rope down further um, and also it, it, the progression uh, towards the top as you get higher is it, it slows down a bit this basically is a, a, an inspection uh, to, to give a quote for any forthcoming repairs that, that need sorting out um, the over the years, the first job I ever did were above the collar, the, the ten feet of brickwork above the collar. I uh, put some new iron bands round and uh, and pointed it all, and a new lightning conductor rod. Wow. And on subsequent visits, I pointed all the panel work round the top thirty feet. Uh, and now from the the sailing course below that to uh, below the green and white banded area of tile bricks, it's badly in need of pointing. So uh, I'm going to give them an estimate to um, to do that. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's a bit of old time Steeple Jack's plug wood, you know. They move knock that in there, it'll be dead and gone. <laughs> Without a doubt. Oh my God. How cool, calm, and collected he was, and just, you know, laughing about it. That is what's making this for me. Uh, it, it, for some reason, I thought that these these ladders were were secured on both sides of the rungs. Yeah, not just one point. That to me, that's like a pivot point. Like that's a very dangerous thing. I I think. Yeah. I think I would definitely have. 
so much. I would spend more time making sure the shit didn't fall off than go up. Yeah. Like, I, granted, this is not even a thing nowadays, right? It's, the, there's no way for us OSHA would ever clear something like this. Yeah. They would be like, oh, you want to do that? Fuck no. Guess what? I'm going to slap a historic label on it, and we're going to wait till it falls down on its own. Exactly. <laughs> Come with me and you'll be yeah. in a world of OSHA violations. Yes. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah. But um <laughs> this is this is just the fact that it it's still mind blowing. He puts mad pressure behind like he tests it, right? Yeah. He does like the wiggle test. Yeah. At oh, that height. Yeah. And 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 is still, <laughs> you know, not phased by it. Granted, he's probably put so many of these in. And he knows his work. Yeah. And he trusts his work. But goddamn, we've all had bad days. Yeah. And, yeah. If I was him, I would never work on a Monday. <laughs> yeah. Mondays... I would be superstitious as hell. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You'd be in the pub on Sunday yep. nights, right? I'd be like, you know what? I'm going to do something ridiculous on Tuesday. Well, why not Monday? Because Mondays are Mondays. Yeah. Nothing can go wrong. Everyone has a case of the Mondays. Yeah. No matter what profession yeah. you're in. Exactly. Yeah. Things go wrong on Mondays. So I would just be like, you know what? No work on Monday. Because mm -hmm. we can't afford things to go wrong. Exactly. Wow. And look, I'm going to give Fred one of my biggest compliments of all time. Yes. And you know what it is. Yes. You know it's coming. I don't say it as much as off I usually do, but this guy fucks. Yeah. Deserved. Yes. Deserved. He 100% fucks. Wow. Man. After, after a hard day's work, you know, he's probably <laughs> sweaty. He's steeple jacking. <laughs> steeple jacking. It's, all the pheromones uh, 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 are going. Come on. Yeah, this guy This guy's just legendary. Yeah, he's so. a legend. Legend. I'm almost ashamed that his... Who he is isn't known other than over there. Yeah. It should be known the world over. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he may not get chapters in history books, but he should definitely have an honorable mention. Yeah. Or uh, two pages minimum. <laughs> yeah. 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 Quite rotten, you know. These patches I pointed up, they, they uh, were some... Very poor quality steeple jacks damaged the brickwork, you know. Uh, didn't know how to work an hammer and chisel. It's always policy to leave the ladders there until you've come to the financial arrangement with the management uh, about whether they're going to have it, have it done or not, uh, which saves you having to put the ladders up again. The, the thing is that having secured the contract, if we're going to do it, uh, it, it, we've then got to put what's termed as a staging around the top. Mm. Right, I, 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 sorry, 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 sorry. That, in the comments of the last one, they said it, how they were able to get the camera up there, that's how they did it. It's so, a big old fucking crane. Yep. Yeah. Gotta love the cherry pickers. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Staging around the top. God damn. Mm. Not for me, dog. Not for me. Holy crap, man. Ah! Here it's how it's ad addled. Oh, uh, you know. It's a shame, really. <laughs> Getting near the top, it's always like that, you know. Wow. Wow. Not for me, dog. Not this time. A few iron bands might be called. Like, not. I wouldn't even get on the cherry picker. Mm -mm. One random gust of wind, that thing is. It's dumping you. Yeah. Yeah. You're, Holy you're, crap. You're basically a, a, a hot dog wrapper in the wind. Oh, my point. God. Ugh. Oh, no. It's too high. Yeah. Way too, too high. high. <laughs> oh my god, bro. Yeah. And <laughs> people people base jump on things that high. Yeah. <laughs> and, and and to the point of the last video where we said like he needs at least 
you know, double what he is getting. He needs like I, I saw some of the equivalents with like thirty four thousand pounds enough, dude. in this time. He needed thirty four thousand pounds in that time. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. That's yeah, crazy. yeah. Get get your inflation calculators out and tell us what that would be now. <laughs> yeah, probably hundreds. Yes. To screw it together a bit. Bit of me pointing come out up there on them big copings. Can you see it? Six inches off the lightning conductor. Mm. Not bad that though, it's a long time since I did it. How do your muscles not give out, dude? You've been on that ladder for a minute. A long time. Probably have been built up. Some of them are loose. <laughs> oh, shit. It's a trifle huddled around that area. I don't think... You okay? Uh, he just looks back like, some of them are loose. <laughs> I'm like, fucking some of them are loose. And then get off. Like, done. <laughs> that is crazy. Oh, no, my God. Man, I couldn't. What? Dude. I think the full nine inch headers, they're only halves, you know. This guy. Well, I think uh, this guy. This is 100% me. Just. Like, what? If he, if he falls, you just like, well, fuck it. Like, you just. I mean, this man's job is looking up and mm -hmm. paying attention mm -hmm. all day. Like that. That would. Maybe, maybe, maybe Liam was a. A helper, cause he yeah, yeah, he was learned a simple crane up helper it before. Learn how to crane up. Yeah, and he just he learned how to <laughs> sing like how that. To sing like that. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> An header is a a brick on end, like like that should be, but I don't think it is. They wouldn't they wouldn't sound as hollow if it were a full nine inch brick going in. It's only half of one. I think. I'm only surmising. Like, how is he going to get around the top of that? <laughs> like, okay, the whole chimney has been straight, right? Yeah, yeah. I am so interested to see what he does around this part. Yeah. That, how do you... Uh, yeah, we got about two minutes left. It, it, oh they better wrap God. it up here. Because that is... Uh, uh, not for me, dog. No. I've said that multiple times in this video. I, Just, I know. Man. Take a shot every time I say, not for me, dog. You'll be drunk, uh, drunker than Fred Dippin' I was yeah. getting up here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. These are my dog holes that support my scaffold when I'm, you know, when I'm putting the scaffolding up. Uh... When you sat on top of there, like King of the Castle, the view used to be quite interesting in this area. There were numerous collieries, uh, which uh, the last of which disappeared a few months ago, uh, and lots and lots of mill chimneys, and I think you can see about four left now uh, out of all of them, uh, out of dozens and dozens. Not very far away, there's the Paris Church of Atherton, which has got a distinct list on it through the mining subsidence. Ah, uh, well, that's it now. We've nearly conquered it. The north face of the Eiger. <laughs> oh, he's about to get down. There he goes.
<laughs> my hands are sweating. Really? Like, oh my god. That is. Will they see the glistening when they give it two thumbs up? No, no. It's just. Dude. This is different. This is different. Oh uh, my god. You are. It's so, like, it's so fear inducing. Yeah. <laughs> you are shaking in your boots. Not a lot of things make you shake no, in your boots. It's just watching someone, like, you. You only get to attempt to steeplejack once. Yeah. And if it doesn't work out, that's probably it. Uh-huh. You, you, no, you don't get another chance. Yeah, yeah. Like like you said with uh, the next burger bowl, if you get pelted by a burger or you make a mistake steeplejacking, you're done. Yeah, that was, that's a one Your day's time done. Time. Yeah, there's no two weeks. No, nope. nope. There's no. There's no two weeks notice. You're, you're, you're done. You're out. <laughs> wow. Wow. Oh. So, Fred Dibna, I feel like he is a new staple on the channel now. <coughs> Let yeah. us know more stuff of his to check out. We know he has a series. I think we found it. I think it's six episodes. Yeah. We'll more than likely be getting to it in 2023. Yes. So, I know. like how that sounds so far away. We'll get to it in 2023. Uh, in a couple days. Yeah, when this is put out, yeah. it'll be 2023. Y'all yeah. <laughs> <laughs> know we record these things in advance. Yes. Yes. Anyway, y'all, thank y'all for those comments, liking, subscribing, hitting that bell, and sharing with your friends. Definitely, guys. And until next time, wash your hands, scrub your toes, wipe your ass, blow your nose, embrace the suck. Unplug and do something epic. Like this. <laughs> See you next time. Yeah, later. Fellas, we could be that mistake. Let's do this.